Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. My name is Mike. I'm the moderator in the series of videos that is all about handmade carpets from around the world. Welcome you to our YouTube channel and I hope you and your family are doing well. In this video, I'm actually going to be reaching out to you for help. This is going to be one of those odd videos that um, in which I typically answer questions, but in this one in particular, I'm going to be asking you for help in identifying a very fine and unique carpet that we were able to purchase that we literally bought it because we don't know what it is. So if you are into, especially whether it's the Turkish silk Herakay rugs like the genuine piece that I have here to my right or if you're just into handmade Persian rugs or carpets from around the world if you are really into them please watch this video as again I'm going to be showcasing a rug and then I'm going to be looking at you and saying please help me identify it so if this is something that you're into, watch this video as I really think you're going to enjoy it. Um, this is one of many videos for those of you that are new to our channel. Um, I try to bring about one or two videos a week for well over a year now at the time that this video was taken where um, it's basically it's a fun YouTube channel it's more of a hobby for me I help my family run our wholesale business and then I also have my individual my online rug business that I started well it's been over 25 years now and um, so with the growth of our channel I answer oftentimes a lot of my questions um, well I have a lot of you that you see my videos or you visit our website at mprugs.com and you have questions about a rug that you have. And so I get a lot of emails and especially with the growth of our YouTube channel, I've been getting more and more questions, but it's typically from folks like yourself, you may own a rug or you may think about purchasing one and you just want to get some quick ideas of what it is that you have or looking at and I have no problems answering them to you um, which if you are into uh, if that is something that you're interested in there's a link below in the description I made a video on what size pictures I need and all that stuff so that I can answer your questions quickly I do my very best to answer all of them but as again because of the growth of our channel and I do literally enjoy doing it. I just do want you to know that, please, if you can help me as far as giving me what I need, then I can answer your question. But in this video, like I said, we got ourselves a rug that is very similar to the genuine Turkish Herakay rugs. To my right, this is a Turkish semi-antique Herike. It's a 1010 quality. Um, this is something where if you're also into the Turkish Herike rugs or if you just generally you want information about them, I got a whole bunch of videos where I've already made where, for example, I compared the Turkish ones to the Chinese ones like the ones that you see here to my left. And I also try to help you identifying them and give you some tips so that when you go to buy one or if you already own one you can kind of sort of get a feel for what it is that you have because there are a lot of these uh, Chinese ones that are being sold as the Turkish ones. But the reason that I put the two up is because we had the opportunity to buy a very unique piece. This is something that if you are passionate about Persian rugs like, well, like I am, and this is just something where the price was right and it is such a unique and it's a very fine piece that I thought, you know what, I have to have it. So I'm gonna actually just move this Chinese one to the side. Basically what we have here is, and I'm gonna be talking about the rug while I'm also gonna be pointing at the picture. 
But basically, as you can see by the picture, um, it's a very, very fine piece. And later on, when I get behind the camera and I show you the close-up features, this is a 1515 quality, which means 15 knots per centimeter. Just imagine how absolutely incredible that is. That's over 2 million knots per square meter. And uh, remember, done by hand. So even though this rug right here is on a good day, maybe half a square meter, this rug took a very long time to make. But here is the problem. If it was a Turkish hurricane rug, we would be able to identify it. We cannot tell you where this rug was made. First, when we saw it, we were like, okay, based on the pictures and everything, okay, it must be Turkish. It does not have the, the, there is a Chinese silk. Uh, it's a lower grade silk uh, than the Turkish ones. And the videos that I've made where I compare the two, I always tell people one of the easiest ways, well, for me, is the Turkish hurricane weighs twice as much easily than the Chinese hurricane. This is almost like paper compared to what the real silk is about. And there's obviously, uh, not only is the Turkish, uh, the genuine Heriki pieces are very thicker. The, the silk, it's much denser, much higher grade. The quality is just every, phenomenal. But here's the thing. This piece has that same almost feel to the Turkish Heriki. But when we took close-up pictures and we really looked at it up close, it has all of the characteristics of a Chinese hurricane. It's almost as if, and we have had, we have seen Chinese hurricane runs that have that same high knot count. So even with the Chinese hurricane ones, we are not able, um, it, it just, we could not point this out and say, yes, it's Chinese. We think it is. But this is where you come in. If you are knowledgeable, if you are into the Herakay rugs, please tell us. For example, we have a signature, as you can see in the picture, that none of us can figure out what the heck this is. And none of us being that, obviously, um, as I mentioned to many of you, we're in the wholesale district. Um, so it's not just my family that is in the rugs, but so are so many of our friends and neighbors. Well, we have shown, I have shown this rug to a whole lot of people. And everyone who has looked at it noticed a few things. The signature is non-legible. We don't know what the heck this says. Second, the design. The design features are so that normally in the Turkish Herakay rugs, left side and right side are mirrored of each other. So if I were to take a straight line and cut the rug in half, left side and right side, they are perfect match. But, and of course, there are a few exceptions with the pictorial pieces and all that. But in this case, you have a rug design that actually looks very similar to in Tabriz rugs. Give you an example. Do you see the veins, the circular veins that you see here? And again, as I'm pointing at the rug, I want you to look at the picture. And this is the bottom quarter, the right quarter of the rug. Um, you'll see the veins. Well, take a look at this Tabriz rug. This Tabriz rug, this design, you'll see the curvature. You see the veins and everything and the medallion of this silk rug. This mirrors very, very, and this is classic Tabriz. So we know there's some Tabriz influence in the silk rug. Then you also have the animals. And this is where it gets tricky. The bottom 
quarter of the rug is mirrored at the top left corner. So it's like somebody cut this piece off and flipped it around to the top and you have the deer and the deer identical. This is not normal in Persian rugs. It's not normal in the Heracle rugs. Just all the way around, it's just an oddity. You also have, for example, the deer in the lower left corner. Then you have the same deer in the upper right corner. But the workmanship, the quality is simply not, I mean, this is a masterpiece rug. This is sloppy. The quality has, it's not a perfect, it's obviously a match, but it's not perfection. And at this grade, at a 1515 quality, I would expect it to be much, much closer in terms of details. So again, this is why we are completely baffled. It's like somebody made it, I mean, this took well over a year to weave. I mean, this is an extremely fine piece, but somebody took the time to weave a rug in an extremely sloppy way um, where there are some things that just don't add up. Like I said, this is like a Ferrari where they deliberately put a dent in the door by putting a signature that no one can read. Whether it is from the front or, as you can see in the picture, from the back of it. It makes no sense to any of us. And so... If you see, um, again, uh, in the description below is the link to the rugs. We are advertising this as a Chinese hurricane because I don't think it's correct for me. To, I, would, I would certainly not sell this as a Turkish hurricane. So to be on the safe side, we're offering it as a Chinese one, but... I thought I'd make it available to you and say, hey, look, if you got some wisdom that the rest of us don't have, please put them in the comments section. Please be mindful, though, this is a family-friendly channel. And so make sure that when you do leave your comments, you leave them, you know, be mindful of the language. But um, feel free to let me know. I would love to know more about it. So now, as I've always done, I'm going to get behind the camera and show you some of the features of this amazing rug. And then I'm going to come back to you later on, say my goodbyes. Again, if you like our channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have questions, as I mentioned to you earlier, I'm, I'm having fun with our channel here. And I want it to be also proactive. This is going to be one of those channels where I'm not just going to be basically talking and have you guys watching. I want you guys to be, I feel like I want to give you guys a chance to be a part of this channel as well. So if you guys have questions, put them in the comment section or visit us at mprux.com. Um, as I mentioned to you guys, and there's my email, you can email me. Um, so... I'm going to get behind the camera and I'll show you the close-up features and then I'm going to come back to you and say my final goodbyes. So here we are with the close-ups. As I mentioned to you earlier, um, we have, as you saw in the picture, um, and I think the, the picture is actually a lot more detailed. Um, it's a really nice, I mean, it's just a superb piece of detailing. Everything is there. As I zoom in, you can just see, I mean, this is as um, I'm slowly making myself over to the edge of the rug. Let me zoom out and flip it over so you don't get dizzy. But as I zoom in, remember now, this is handmade at its best. This is a 15-15 quality. So one centimeter. Where's my big, fat, ugly finger? There you go. One centimeter 15 knots just absolutely phenomenal
But here is where, um, as I mentioned to you, we are 99% sure that it is not a genuine Turkish Herike rug. There are some features about it, the silk, um, the way the knots are made, also the silk quality, the way it shines, everything about it tells us that it's a really nice replica. This is much more in line with the Chinese than the Turkish Herike. We agreed on that. But like I said, as I mentioned to you earlier, um, and I'm just going to feature and I'm just going to zoom in. Here is the deer that I talked, I pointed out to you earlier um, in the video. Here is the deer and here it is again in the top right corner. So top right, bottom left. They are very, very close, but not close enough. They are not a perfect match to what I would expect them to be in a rug of this quality. Um, like I said, being that this uh, rug measures about 90 centimeters by 60 centimeters, this is about a three foot by two foot. It's a substantial sized rug for its quality. And if this was a Turkish 1515 Herike, it could well be in excess of $10,000. That's easy. But we know because of its quality and workmanship that it's not. But I wanted to show you that there are times when even the so-called experts are dumbfounded. And I figured what better way to showcase this rug than make it available to all of you. Um, I consider the viewers, the subscribers to be like an extended family. Even though I haven't had the pleasure of meeting all of you, I think it's just phenomenal from the comments and the support that I've been getting. And so I thought I'm going to reach out to you guys. If you have any wisdom, feel free to let me know. And so I just thought I'd show you guys this mystery rug that got us all baffled. So I'm going to come back to you right now and just say my quick goodbyes. So there is our video about the mystery rug. I hope you and your family are doing well and I even hope more, well equally, that I'm going to get some answers. But in the meantime, I'm going to be coming back to you with many more videos to come as time goes on. So best wishes from myself and my family to you and your family. Until we see each other again, Take care and best wishes. Goodbye.